What's up? This is my 59th video, which means it's been 59 days in a row since I've uploaded a video. Since I've uploaded a video every day, till I turn 22. Why do I upload these? Because, yeah, because I said I would do it and I'm going to do it. Because I want to create. That's basically my why. Things I want to talk about today. Hmm. A lot of things that I want to pass on to my kids, to the future me, so they know a little bit more about me. And I just want to say persistency. That's kind of like the key word that I want to talk about, persistency. How even if things turn to shit, you know, I, I always keep going. And I hope that still is the case even now. Whenever you watch this video, I hope that still is the case. Persistency is what really makes me me. And persistent with who I am. I've been around people that do a lot of drugs, people that fuck up their lives, people that think they think that they're not normal. And, you know, by today's standard, it, it is pretty normal. I'm not only talking about drugs, I'm talking about other things. But they have a really bad lifestyle. Give me a second. Yeah, I just moved the camera a little bit back, so I'm not moving it as much. And they, yeah, they have a really bad lifestyle. They're fuck, fucking themselves over. And I've been around those type of people basically almost all my life. It's really hard to network and to really be with other type of people. My closest friends aren't like that. They do have some other traits that are not as good, but it's like, just like everyone. I have bad traits too. But what I'm trying to get at is that even if I was in those circles, I did not allow that to be me. I didn't allow it to go down to that level. I'm not saying I'm above other people, but I'm saying that I know that this is bad. And I'm not going to do things that I know are going to mess up my life just because I want to fit in. Or just because I don't want to be looked at weird. Or just because I don't want stares or... You know, stupid stuff like that. I am who I am, and I'm persistent on that, and I won't change that. I will, I will change to improve, but I won't change my values. Those things are things that I don't want to change. Then who, who am I? Obviously, having a flexible state of mind is good. It's good to be open-minded, to hear things and contemplate it and see if there's something that you may have missed. But I don't think I'm missing anything when it when it comes to you know being drinking all the time, doing drugs, being promiscuous, um, and just wasting your time, adding more stuff to your plate when you know you have to have shit done. You know, going out every weekend just to distract yourself, even though you have responsibilities, and above all that, like after all that, you you're wasting your time. And just vent, you vent, and vent, and don't do anything about it. And vent, and don't do anything about it. I was seeing a video about the healthy gamer guy. Healthy gamer is this psychiatrist and monk that talks a little bit more about, you know, modern issues. In, not modern issues, but, you know, you, like day-to-day -day psychological issues that people are having in modern terms that people can understand. That's like the word I'm trying to put. And so we're talking about that, about venting, about how venting is a horrible thing if it is done just for venting and not for a way to let it all out, articulate it, understand it, fix it. If it's just let it all out, don't do anything about it, go back into whatever you're doing that's causing all this negativity and stress in your life and then coming back here and just letting it out again, that is not healthy. You're supposed to let it out, understand what the hell is in your system. Like when you throw up, you see, oh, what did I eat? Uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of corn in there. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you don't understand. Um, go in, see what, what's wrong, and then get back out there. Change and do better. That's what venting is about. That's why you go to therapy to talk, articulate, you know, construct all that, and then get better. That is what it is, you know? That's basically it is what it is. So, 
those are habits that I've been avoiding. And I've been around a lot of people that do have those habits. I am persistent in who I am. And I'm persistent when I want a business to work, even if it's been a year since I... I don't know if you saw the... Mm-hmm. I'm just curious about the talk right Okay, sorry, I got the Skype call. Yes, I use Skype instead of Zoom because for some reason, international calls, you know, video calls are better through Skype. I believe it has like better connection just out of trial and error. You know, who knows? Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, being persistent with business. Yeah, my other video that I posted basically it tells you a little bit more about my business life or not business life but my business journey it's been a year since i have gone into this industry i've been trying to do business for a while by I mean a while it's been since i'm 14 and now i'm 21 so it's been a while failure after failure after failure after failure change of industry fail but i don't change quickly it's after a year of actually trying so i am pretty persistent when i want to be I'm pretty stubborn hard-headed now with this one, it's the life insurance industry or financial services industry because I do more than life insurance. And it's been a year and really I've been messing up. I've been trying to clear up some other things in, in my past and some of the things I'm dealing with. But it's been a year and I've only made one sale recently, which I'm pretty happy. And I just, I, want, I don't want to say only. I have just currently made one sale because I'm going to make more. Because I'm motivated and I'm going to finally be able to invest money into advertisement, into other things. And I'm not given up. I've not tried everything yet to make this business successful. Why am I using this vehicle? Because this is a vehicle that I have in hand and I believe it's one of the best I got at the moment. Now, just Brett, me, in the future, if this doesn't work out, it's okay. As long as you try wholeheartedly, whole, wholeheartedly everything that you can in your power to do so, then it's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. If I tried this for five years and looking back at this video, a failure what in whatever regards that I want to measure myself as, I forgive you. As long as you've truly tried everything or found out that this isn't something that makes you happy or this isn't this isn't worth it, it's okay. As long as what you finally figure that it's worth it, be persistent at it and don't give up. This is just the means for me to finally have more time freedom to do creative work. And this video is like, this isn't really creative work, but this is me blogging and doing something I said I would, being disciplined. But I have a lot of things I want to create. A lot of things that I want to create. Like th- this is, I have bad camera, bad mic quality. I'm getting better at talking at least in the camera, I mean, without a script or anything. But there's a lot of things that I want to do. Like so many things. I'm talking about video games. I'm talking about books. I'm talking about things online that you can do. Sort of community stuff like that. Like really things to have fun, reflect, and help people out. Help like small local freelancers and do this. I'm like outsource all these stuff. It's like like help you know generate generate like a healthy community of creating stuff and helping people and just just letting ideas flow out into the universe like putting good ideas in front and not just whatever is trendy and whatever ah, no like i see people with similar channels as mine but obviously everyone does it differently less less like less videos way more views way more subscribers and i find myself looking at that like i'm like oh wow i wonder why and then i always have to snap back and realize i'm not doing this because of whatever this is just persistent discipline and that you guys can take a look into my psyche you whoever cares in the future not whoever cares now i'm not expecting anybody to care now and at least my kids better fucking watch this. As cringy as it might seem, this is how I am right now. I'm 21 years old. I don't have much money to my name. Or any, really. I'm in debt up until next month. So I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Um, I take care of my mother. She believes in me. I have someone back home that loves me. I love them. I hope that 
there or your mom. If not, this would be pretty awkward. But I really doubt that. Really, really doubt that. And that's who I am right now. I'm trying to get something going. But most importantly, I'm trying to read every day. And be better. Persistently. Consistently. And until I win. I used to contemplate suicide. Especially when I got life insurance. Because if I die after two years, there's no contestability. And you can do whatever with that money. My mother can do whatever. The person that I love right now can do whatever. They could buy multiple houses. They'll be totally set for life. And sometimes I think, will I be able to give them that life? The person that I love right now is in a, in a Zoom. I was about to say Zoom. In a Skype call. She's muted. And I don't have my camera on. She's waiting on me. And I see her. She's so sweet. She's so nice to me. I love her a lot. And the feeling of not being able to give her the life that she deserves is horrible. That's why I've been thinking about suicide sometimes. Not being able to provide. That's why. Recently, at least. Before then, it was just shitty life. Very poor. But that's, that's a stupid reason to do it. So obviously I didn't. Obviously I'm here. And even though my life right now, as a materialistic standpoint, has been the same or worse than t two years ago, I feel like I'm a better person. And I feel like there's a light outside the tunnel. Even if it's not life insurance, even if it's not whatever business, I r really do feel like I can do it. Like whatever comes across my way, I feel like I'll survive. And eventually, with hard work and persistent improvement, persistent, constant improvement, I will, I'll make it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.